Hello, how are you? Hello. Uh, what's your name? My name is Noah. How old are you, Lamar? 18. Okay, you're 18. Very good. My name is Jeannie. I'm a family nurse practitioner student at LIU, and I'm here to perform an abdominal exam on you. Is that okay with you? Yes. Okay. I'm going to first wash my hands. And the first thing that I'm going to do is do the inspection of the abdomen. Okay. So I'm going uh, to observe the abdomen for any straying, vein distension, um, pulsation, um, any scar, any discoloration, hair distribution. For this particular patient, um, he has some air distribution because um, he's a fully developed adult. Obviously, he didn't uh, take out his hair. And this abdomen is, uh, is round. And I'm going to go to the bottom also and observe it. I don't see no pulsation, no ab abnormal movement for respiration. So everything is good. And then after my inspection, I'm going to start with my auscultation. I will use the bell of the stethoscope to auscultate the aortic artery, which is midline toward the left. Bilaterally, I'm going to auscultate the renal artery. It's right above the umbilical. Bilaterally, I'm going to auscultate um, the iliac artery under the umbilical. And the bilaterally, the femoral artery, sorry, in the groin. And I'm going to use the diaphragm of the stethoscope to listen to bowel sound. You have to listen to bowel sound in all four quadrants. I didn't really hear no bowel sounds because uh, I needed more time, but uh, regularly I would wait like five minutes to listen to bowel sound. So now after I do the auscultation, I'm going to do the percussion. I'm going to percuss all four quadrants of the abdomen and I'm supposed to hear tampani. Now, um, I will also focus for the liver, and in focusing for the liver, I will do what uh, we call the liver span. I'm going to start focusing from uh, area of tympani until we change to donor. And I'm going to mark it. And mid-clavicular, I'm going to continue to percuss until I hear the sounds going from tympani to dormant. And I'm going to mark it. And I'm going to use the ruler to measure. And the liver span in this patient is about uh, 10.5 centimeters. I'm going to percuss on the 
left upper quadrant for the screen. I went from tempani to dullness. And then uh, now what I will do after my percussion, I'm gonna start palpation. Um, in fact, before I do the palpation, I will do the hooking technique to feel for the liver edges. The hooking technique, I will go on the white upper quadrant and uh, try to, this patient has a bit of fat kind of part to do the hooking technique. You can relax your muscles. Okay, so the hooking technique will actually make me feel the, the, the edges of the liver. In this patient, I, it's, I didn't really feel no edges. So that's also a sign. Uh, they were not hard, they soft, regular. It's a sign that um, it's good also. And then now I'm gonna continue with uh, my palpation. They have three forms. Uh, uh, you can do a light palpation, which is just pressing down from one to two centimeter on the patient abdomen. And uh, I can also do the medium palpation, uh, palpation which is uh, from two to three centimeter. And I can do the deep palpation, which is three to four. Okay, in, in doing the palpation, I'm uh, checking to see if the patient feel any tenderness, if I feel any mass, and I will ask the patient to relax so I can feel it. Do you feel any tenderness? No pain, no nothing? Okay, so the patient don't feel no pain. And um, I can also palpate for the spleen at the level of the 12 to 11 rib, I palpate and uh, I'm not feeling anything, but now, what I will do, I will use my right hand to feel for the, for the, to put under the patient, to feel for the kidney on this side. And uh, now I'll go to the left. Now also at the level of 11 to 12 weeks, I'm going to put my hand under the patient and feel for the spleen. Okay. Um, I will ask my patient to sit up so I can check for CVA tenderness. And I'm going to turn him. For the severe tenderness, I will just use my ulna and tap in the back of the patient and ask him if you feel any tenderness and any pain. Do you feel any pain at all? Yes. Hmm? Yes. Okay, so that's how you, you check for CBA. Okay. Now I think I, I still have more time. We can do that. And uh there are also different tests that you could do if patient would come with um, certain type of complaint, like if the patient would come with uh, pain on the white lower quadrant, I will I could do the warp skin sign where I'm going to press on the left lower quadrant, and if the patient feel pain on the right lower quadrant, that will be a sign for. Um, appendicitis and also if I think that my patient got a site uh, which is fluid in the belly, I can do the wave test where I can put my hand or ask the patient to turn on the left side. I would ask the patient to turn on the left side and um, I will percuss and if I, I go from dullness to tempani, it will be a sign that uh, the patient may have a site. But uh, I think that complete my inspection of the abdomen. This patient seems uh, to be okay, no abnormality. And uh, I hope I did a good job, Dr. Stafford. Thank you, bye.